Hi everybody, welcome down to Carter's Golf. My name is Andy Carter, PGA Teaching Professional here at the Pete Cowan Golf Academy at Jumeirah Golf Estates here in Dubai. And today's video is a part one of a chipping three do's and don'ts. Tomorrow you're gonna to see pitching three do's and don'ts, but today we are talking chipping. All the videos that I'm gonna be doing on the channel are very much related to, or directly related to the lessons that I give here at the Academy on a daily basis. So I'm not just kind of making up different areas that we might see as an issue, but I'm relating them directly to lessons that I've given very, very recently. So talking about chipping today, and the three crucial elements of chipping that I see are golfers with stances that are too wide, the mentality of trying to get underneath the ball, and weight distribution. First up, we are talking width of stance. So normally when you get a seven iron in your hand, you're looking at getting your feet around about shoulder width apart. And that's allowing your body to transfer a little bit of weight during the swing and also give you a, a wider arc, allow you to have a wider arc to create power and also to create a nice steep angle of attack as you start to transfer your weight into your downswing. However, with chipping, we really don't have time for all of that, okay? So what we like to try and see is a narrower stance. We, and I would kind of say, use your, use your golf club, okay? Use the, the length of the, the club head and just try and get a feel for how wide it should be based on the width of the head. So I would always say use two club head widths would generally be an approximation for your chipping. As I do see golfers are a little bit narrower, that's absolutely fine, they can use one or you can use one and two, okay? That's what I would like to kind of see. For chipping and short range in and around the green, I wouldn't really like to see more than two unless you're on a really awkward line, you've got to try and generate some extra, extra stability. So definitely looking at max, minimum one, maximum two club head widths for your stance. What that's going to do, it's going to allow you to get your weight more forward in your stance. And actually, as you during, during the swing, because the stance is narrow, it's going to help your stability in, re, in regards to not swaying away from the ball. If I set up with a wide stance and I take the club away, it's very easy for me to get my weight onto my right foot. Therefore, it's gonna make it even more difficult to get my weight to my left foot or my front foot where it needs to be as we're about to strike the ball. So keeping the stance really narrow, favoring this left side at setup, and even during the swing, now even though my hips have rotated to back with, the, with the back swing, my weight is still, my pressure's still into my left side. That means on the way back down, I can start to get a slightly, help me get a steeper angle of attack so I can hit down on the ball. So with the stance, is gonna have a direct relation to the points two and three of this video. You can't do, I don't think you can really do points two and three without getting point one correct. So bringing me into point two right now, we're talking about the mentality of chipping. There are instances where the grass is a little bit longer and you might not have much green to work with and you can kind of do that specialist shot where you get underneath the ball as you're about to strike it. I think that's fine if you are fully in control of your golf game and your swing and the, the, the impact factors that you want to create. But as a general rule of thumb, we want to be trying to hit down on the golf ball. We certainly do not want to be trying to get under the ball to scoop it up into the air. We have plenty of loft on a wedge, okay? So if we're just, or a sand wedge or a lob wedge or a gap wedge, whichever one you may use, we're gonna be chipping it in and around 20, 20 yards maximum, so it's a short, it's a very short shot. And if we start to get, try to get the mentality of getting under the ball, two things are generally gonna happen. The spine angle and the shoulders are gonna to start to lean up towards the sky, so that means your, your body weight is gonna to start to move back towards your right foot. That's gonna bring me into point three. But also the hands are gonna release early. If the hands release early and the club then tries to get ahead of your hands, it's like this position, we wanna see them more in this position, but if the club then starts to get ahead of your hands, then the club actually starts to shallow out into the swing. So as, I come in into, as I'm coming into impact, the club actually then starts to shallow out early, stopping the club from hitting down on the ground, and then it's very, very easy to hit the middle of the golf ball. So from 10 yards just off the green, you're probably gonna have another five yard chip coming back because you just managed to thin it across the other side of the green. So, and we've all had it, we've all done it. There's nothing worse than actually doing that shot. So we wanna make sure we've got the right mentality that we're trying to hit down on the back of the golf ball, not allowing the hands to release early. Releasing the hands early is gonna probably hit a thin shot or 
is going to hit a fat shot where the club can land too early and then obviously hit the ground before the ball. So that's something we definitely do not want to be doing. Point number three gives, brings me straight into weight distribution. So if we've got a wide stance and we're trying to get under the ball, where's our body weight going to be? It's going to be back onto the right foot. We're going to feel like we've tried to get under, so we're going to end up like this. If we've got a wide stance, the body weight swayed off the ball, generally swayed off the ball as you take the club away, making it almost impossible, almost impossible, to get the weight back to the left side as we're about to hit the shot. So weight distribution in these shots is absolutely key. But we do need the setup to be perfect. So the setup needs to be slightly a narrow stance, maybe one or two club head widths. Weight favoring this left hip, pressure into kind of the balls of the left feet left foot <laughs> presumably you only got one left foot and <laughs> making sure the weight stays in that position so as we're starting to rotate shoulders and hips have turned then on the way down the mentality makes a huge difference as well we, we need to understand that we have to hit down on the golf ball so the mentality to hit down on the golf ball is also going to encourage the the pressure to stay more in towards your left hand side as well so we're allowing the lower body and upper body to work together but we're gonna be using it around that left side as well. So making sure that the, the stance is narrow, the mentality that we're gonna hit down on the golf ball, weight distribution stays in the left side. And that's a nice little shot. There, narrow stance, weight forward into the left side. Mentality of my, the mentality is that I'm gonna hit down on the back of the golf ball. Turn, turn, that's carried. 10 yards maximum and it's just had that little bit of release on the way through so there are my three points for the do's and don'ts of chipping coming up tomorrow is the three do's and don'ts for pitching as well so please do check them out tomorrow actually the if you kind of collaborate it all together it's kind of six do's and don'ts for chipping and pitching so they're all very much related to each other with the mentality of how to hit down on the ball and also in terms of the stance and in terms of weight distribution from today and you're going to get three more as well tomorrow so please do check them out if you've enjoyed the video please do hit that like button helps me circulate this tip amongst all your fellow golfers and if you've enjoyed it as well please do hit that subscribe button lots more content to come looking at every other day content so please do hit that bell for notifications to be aware of the videos that are being released and that can hopefully help your game as well thanks for watching though guys and we'll see you soon